Hello, I'm going to show you my unhaul of books because they've been sitting there a long time and it's time for them to go. Um, some I've read and some I haven't, so I'll just talk you through them as I go. Love this book. She's such a good writer. I wish she brought out more stuff. Stephen King. I've got a few of his books. I don't know why. I don't really like his writing. I think this was his first book release, but I'm not too sure. Read this a few years ago, put it to the charity shop, bought it back from the charity shop a couple of months ago, haven't reread it, and if I do, I'll probably just get it from my library. Uh, somebody just gave me this one, and I'm not really interested in reading it. Um, this is part of a series, this is book three. This is book three, and I'm not really interested in reading them. I got two of these in my book box from a Bonneville book box. Um, one month they gave me the paperback, the next month it was um, hardback, so I've kept the hardback and getting rid of the paper. I haven't read this. I bought it from a charity shop because I've got an allotment, but um, it's time to go. I've had this for many years with the intention of reading it. I've read half the way, and then I give up. And then I read halfway and then I give up. But I want to keep it because it looks quite old. But I know I'll never read it. So I may as well get rid of it. Um, don't know what this is about, to be honest. I read her, is it Monday, Tuesday? Well, the days of the week books. Like, is it Tuesday, Blue, whatever? They're good, but not this one. Not interested. I only bought this one because I was mixing up... The name's Nikki French with Tana French. Got no interest in reading that. Bought this a few years ago. Loved it. But I've got it in audiobook now. And the audiobook's really funny. So I'll get rid of that. This one is my least favourite of her books. No idea what this is about. I just bought it in charity shop. Um part of a series um yeah no interest i've got all my up the stairs in um you know, the drawn illustrated ones so but i've always kept this one because it's my favorite harry potter and it's a classic actually i might just keep this one <laughs> and this is a classic one isn't it everyone's red gone girl um i was going to re reread all these books before i got rid of them but I've been saying that for the last two years now, so that if I do want to read them, I either get them on my Kobo or from the library. Part of a collection that I bought loom knitting and um, cup making, and this just came part of it, and I don't, I'm, I can't knit <laughs> to save my life. I love the crochet, but cannot knit. Again, I love this author. I've bought every single one of her books. I've left them there with the intention to reread, I never have, so you've got to go. Man, I love this book. Really good. I wasn't a fan of this one, to be fair. It was alright. I like how um, I like how she does the people inside. Oh, my toddler's being noisy. But what can you do? Kids are kids. I don't even know why I bought this. It's about Pete. <laughs> I think I bought it because it's through with Scotland. Yeah, the Isle of Lewis. Another crazy buy. Thought this would be interesting, but it wasn't. This did have a cover, but my kid ripped it, so it's just that. <laughs> I like this book, to be fair. What have I got up the stairs? Um, the humans. I've got the humans to read upstairs. I got rid of the others last time, and that was meant to go, but it fell out the bag. Again, I'll get this from the library if I want to read it. This is a cute little book. If anyone wants to read it, it's really funny. Mm. I only bought this from charity shop because it said elves. I love these little, they're called French flaps, whatever. I love them. I got this from a charity shop because of the booktube hype, but it's not my type of book. This was interesting. This was in, um, I'd read this every time I was in the bathroom. 
but um, I've read it now, so it can go. This is part of a series. It's really pretty, but I'm not actually interested in it. Another uh, hyped up booktube buy. I think this is part of a series. Um, got no interest. Um, it's been sitting on my shelves for a while. It's about um, dealing with death. And um, my grand's just passed away now, so <laughs> this week. So I've got no interest in reading it. Part of a series. Um, only bought it because it was hyped up on Booktube. If I see it on my Kobo, I'll get it, but no great rush. Um, I just bought this because it's cute. <laughs> I haven't read it. It's to do with the history of buttons. Love her books, but this one, um, it's to do with a child with cancer, and it's really, really sad. And as a mum, I started reading it, and I oh, couldn't. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't anymore. Really pretty cover. I've had it sitting for, I think, about two years now. Never going to read it. Again, haven't read it. Got it because I've got an allotment, but no use to me. Another random buy. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> They're pretty, but I don't do needlepoint, I do cross stitch, so that needs to go. Again, this was another duplicate from um, or, or, but, or, but, yeah, sorry, Abominable Book Box. They sent me this one one month and then a different one the next. Exact same set up, set for has a blue cover with a woman with a knife, so I've kept that one. Get rid of that one. And as I said, I'm into cross stitch. Hang on. I'm into cross stitch, but. Um, I don't really need this. Cute though. So somebody else might enjoy it. I think I bought it for 90s vibes. But um, yeah, it's got to go. Okay. Sorry for the sniffing. I seem to sniff in all my videos. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye.